Hi, my name is John, J-O-N, my last name is Drucks, D-R-U-C-K-S. Need to look at my entire Facebook page. It's my book, Change 2017, follows Change 2016, Change 2015, Change 2014, Change 2013, and Change 2012. Because God knows we need change, and we need change now. And I'm standing on a corner in Hollywood, California. And you need to look at some of the other videos I've done. Standing on the corner in Hollywood, California, with things appearing right before my very eyes. And okay, my message is the truth or the end. The truth or the end. Our choice. And I, one of my videos, I talked about the chase over there with their O. And then right above that, it says, let's make America sane again. Okay? Let's make America sane again. And we live in an insane world right now, people. We're living out the end. The truth of the end. And if you want to look for the truth, you need to get the truth on 9-11, the wars of the New World Order. And I think uh, Rockefeller's chase is behind all three. And he had a bit of guilt in the conspiracy working against the best interests of America to bring a one world government. One world totalitarian government. Nazi Germany style, okay? And that's what we got going on right now. Let's make America sane again. And the person in the background went to Yale University. That's, that's pretty funny too. And the home of Skulls of Bold Secret Society. And it goes with this over here. The Grammys and it says, for bearing nothing but your soul. And I think we, we have a bunch of people that have sold their soul. Living in an insane world, ruling their secrets and lies. And we need to get the truth on 9-11 now, people. I believe we will die if we continue to live the 9-11 lie. And again, this is just all part of the plan for the New World Order. I believe we're being set up to default to the New World Order. And I think they're going to turn out the electricity, turn out the lights, the, night, the party's over. And... America's bankrupt, go get your chip, which is the mark of the beast in the Bible, the cashless society, that they don't even have to print this funny money anymore. And I'm guessing they'll have a piece of every transaction, just like they got their ATM fees right over there, and uh, trace your every move. And uh, it's time to turn the cameras away from us and onto them, because it's us against them in my book. Us against them. It's the members of the ruling elite secret societies against the rest of us. And again, a, 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 Islam and the Muslims and all that stuff that we you know, the Osama bin Laden story. <laughs> they, our enemies right here at home, people. And, and some of it's your family and friends. That's what the real kicker of this all is. And it, I don't know, d down there is a billboard. And it talks about mind, some about mind control. And again, let's make America sane again because we, we're living in an insane world, let's face it. And I, I believe you don't have to look any farther than that. In, in America, and then you got the Rothschilds in Europe, and the the royal family of England, but again, this is not just a royal family. This is a brotherhood. I believe we're under the rule of the cult that sold their, sold their souls. I mean, you got to look at some of the satanic rituals they, they act out on stage at these award shows, and we got, we're coming up to the Super Bowl. Can't wait for that one. I think it's Lady, Lady, Lady Gaga this time. And I'm sure there'll be some satanic ritual. Hi, welcoming the New World Order. Because, uh, again, back, you know, if you look back at Chase there, and then you look over here and you see the New York Times. And it says, Moonlight, this is the story of a lifetime. And the question is, is, is it the story of all of our lifetimes? Because again, my message is the truth to the end. And hey, you'd have to be blind not to see it by now, people. This is a plan. They've admitted guilt to this. 
I believe there's enough evidence to convict on 9-11, the wars, and the New World Order, all in their, their own words. Because they think we're powerless. We, we, we sit there and bend over and take it. Powerless, and I can't count the number of people that say, oh, there's nothing you can do about this. There's nothing we can do. We're powerless. And I, I say, BS. We can rise up. We need to rise up. Stand for the truth. I guess and it says 50 shades darker and it, you can't get any more dark than we got going on in this country right now people and I'm telling you and they've all been enlightened they think <laughs> again we're under the rule of the cult and it's a brotherhood and, and some of our friends and family the enemy's right here people and you better wake up now and you better give them a choice it's either us or them but they can't have it both ways, and I've seen many of the things that Brotherhood goes both ways. So, again, the second part of my message is that there's a lot of married men messing around with other men. We're just living in a sick and, sick and twisted society. A bunch of powerless sheep. But we need to rise up now. It's the walking dead. The walking dead. Is that what I'm doing right now as I'm crossing the street? You, you need to rise up, people. We're not powerless. Power to the people. We need to get rage against the machine. They, they're, they're killing in the name. We need to wake up, know our enemy, and take the power back. You know, all you have to do is look at the lyrics and the titles of the first Rage Against the Machine album for that one. And this is a script. And William Cooper talked about it in his Mystery Babylon series. And it just goes, the list is uh, endless. And again, a lot of these people have admitted it. So that rise up now, people, because this is something else we need to look at here. And it says, I have to get, I'll try to get a little bit better here, because you got to see this one. Ready? There's a bus here, so I'm gonna just again knowing that my message is the truth to the end. And what I say is nothing changes without the truth, we're living proof. But I believe the days of us living under the rules, secrets and lies are numbered. The writings on my wall, my Facebook page, my book. And you're gonna, you're gonna see a bus go by here in a minute, so West Hollywood. Speaking of that. So, this sign, this writing on the wall says, the truth is always changing. And then it's another, that's BS. No, it's not. If you tell the truth, everything stays, I mean, your story stays the same. The truth doesn't change. The truth changes. The first step in change is the truth. The first step in anything good is the truth. And again, if anyone thinks we're living underneath the truth right now, you you aren't living in reality. And that's put it as nicely as I can. And so it also says Sneaky Pete. And There's, all you have to do is look at the lyrics of Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones. And it talks about Lucifer. And it talks about who killed the Kennedys. And it also talks about 
St. Petersburg and it was a time for a change. And I witnessed my father go to heaven when I was 12 years old in St. Petersburg, Florida and the name of my books changed. And again, it's called Sympathy for the Devil. And that's the people that rule you today. They have sympathy for the devil. And look at those lyrics. Look at the lyrics of War Pigs. That tells you who they are. And look at Won't Get Fooled Again by the Who. Because we've been fooled again. We're going to have children at our feet. Okay? America's ready to be taken down by Sneaky Pete. Because there's more to that. You know, again, I... There's St. There's Peter's Square, uh, St. Peter's Cathedral, I think, in, in the Vatican. And I guess the first Pope's name was Pete, St. Peter, and Sneaky Pete. Because not only do we need the truth on 9-11, the wars in the old order, we need the truth on all this child molestation. It can start right at the Vatican. And that's why we're, we're living in a sick and twisted world people right now and it's all oh, because they're part of this little brotherhood the secret societies of the new world order because again the new world new world order is not a conspiracy theory it was promised by george hw bush but again there's endless amount of people who have talked about this this is a plan and we need to rise up now again the truth of the end i'm going to say my message right now and I believe the message of the spirit of truth, John 16, 13 is, the truth or the end. The truth will set us free, John 8, 32. Free at last, free at last. We just, uh, yeah, celebrated Martin Luther King Day. And our government, our so-called government, had been a guilt and a conspiracy to assassinate MLK, and I believe the same could, should and could be said of JFK and RFK. And I believe America is living out the JFK story, literally living it out until we live no more. Free and independent were the final words of JFK's secret society speech, and I think independent was the key word directed at the evil royal elites that we declared our independence from. Again, the royal family, but that's that's only half the story. It's the brotherhood of the secret societies of the New World Order. And we need to rise up now. It's us against them. Plain and simple, people. And if you want to continue living in a world of lies and secrets and child molestation and whatever else they can cook up, 9-11s, and again, not, there's going to be something bigger. That's what this is all about. So... Since the people didn't stand for the truth on the assassination of JFK, we received 9-11 decades later. And what's next, the nuke? As they're setting up nuclear world war. Against the great enemy from the north as we stand by the side of Israel until the day we die. And then you throw in Damascus falling, and guess what you have? You got end times. <laughs> and again, all you have to do is look at that and then look at... Look at history books, people. This is, this is not... We are not the first. We may be the last, though. We may be the last, and is that the plan? And who knows? Everything is a secret. When forced to talk, they lie. The ruling royal family of brotherhood of liars. And again, the truth over here. And it says the truth is always changing. No, the lies are always changing. And we need to get the truth now. If you want change, get the truth. Not the other way around, if that makes any sense, but it makes sense to me. And this makes the most sense of all. And the last one I had up in my last video was suit up. We need to suit up and rise up. It's us against them, people. That's the way this works. And we're not the first, and the question is, are we the last? So again, my name's John, J-O-N. My last name's Drucks, D-R-U-C-K-S. You need to look at my entire Facebook page. It's my book, Change 2017. It follows Change 2016, Change 2015, 
Change 2014, Change 2013, and Change 2012. Because God knows we need change, and we need change now. Peace.